All right, the last ingredient is a strong PBL culture. So to prioritize culture building. So the culture's expectations, daily tasks, values, priorities, impact, et cetera, et cetera, are very specific to project-based learning. So when your students walk into your classroom or when they start the learning day in your homeschool or wherever, whatever your learning environment is, they understand that what we're doing today Every action I take is with project-based learning in mind. So it's a culture of authentic presentations. Students know we share our work with a public and relevant audience. They know in a PBL classroom or learning environment that they need to do research. They need to do the digging. It's active learning, not passive. And so developing that strong PBL culture where your students walk into your classroom or the learning day, expecting to do those things. The negotiate, the negotiating ends. The um, low quality work is done because they know this is what we're supposed to do. This is normal. So the hope is that you can work toward a really strong PBL culture where the kids in your class or the kids that you're working with um, know that this is what we're doing. This is the culture of a PBL learning environment. The effect of that is that students produce quality work because they that's normal. They know they're supposed to. They challenge each other. They hold each other accountable. Um, they develop insanely impactful and powerful PBLs. They're self-sufficient and it's a culture of curiosity and, and questioning and lifelong learning. And this literally prevents every single challenge. I'm not even kidding. Any time an educator writes to me or calls me and says, this is the challenge I'm facing in my PBL learning environment right now, almost always my response is to prioritize culture building, get back into it, get a strong PBL culture in place. 